grand opening. How did you come to find this space and what was the process? Uh, I'd been a private dealer for seven years in London. I then opened an office in LA at the start of 2007. Um, it was a natural progression to then open a gallery space. Uh, we hunted around for a, quite a while. We were looking for the right type of space for us. The architecture of the exterior is important as the interior. We want to really project a contemporary image that is something fresh. And with the gallery, we're trying to do something new and progressive in Los Angeles. And so now, what is the exhibit that you're, you have going on currently? Tonight we're launching Michael Muller Lumiere. It was very important for me for the launch of the gallery that we picked a local artist to introduce ourselves as someone who was in dialogue with the local arts community. Michael is illustrious as an editorial and fashion photographer and he has worked for virtually every major magazine that's out there. I think Michael's really showing his talent because he's projecting something new creatively with the camera whereas traditionally photography is about capturing an image that is already there. Guy, I need to know what this night is about in three sentences. Guy Hapner is about promoting progressive contemporary art in the LA community with LA-based artists and open up a dialogue with those people who care about arts. Hour, Mr. Michael Muller. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, so tell me about your trip to France and how this whole project came about. Uh, this came about, I, I lived in Paris in the uh, 11th district in the Bastille about 12, 13 years ago and uh, was there during Bastille Day and, um, and you know, traveled to the south of France and sort of put this show together which is a combination of, you know, the beach culture which I'm you know, definitely involved with and takes up a big part of my life. And uh, and then I happen to be there, you know, go there during Bastille Day again and sort of documented the fireworks and the, the whole scene. <laughs> Michael Muller and you're watching Everyday TV.